are here today to speak to some faculty and community members about Mount Pleasant's new Aspiring Educators Program. So what is the Aspiring Educators Program? Oh, thank you. The uh, Aspiring Educators Program is a Pennsylvania Department of Education approved program of study uh, that prepares uh, as high school students and uh, for a exciting career of education it is uh, new to us this year um, and it's a partnership between the Central Westmoreland Career and Technology Center and the Mount Pleasant Area School District uh, the program uh, blends the theory um, of educational practice with actual hands-on experiences of getting students uh, into classrooms learning and preparing uh, offers opportunities for continuing their education at the college level um, with with articulation agreements to earn college credit um, as well as um, hopefully fast-tracking um, uh, our young aspiring educators to help address um, what we know is uh, a, a significant need for for teachers awesome and what types of learning and field experiences will aspiring educators have? They'll uh, get to go out into the classroom, um, elementary, middle school, and high school to observe and hopefully do some interactions, maybe even teach some lessons. They'll get to visit some universities uh, to see what those, what those universities offer for educational programs. Um, and they'll, we're working on having a lot of guest speakers and uh, other facets. Is there anything I missed? Something you want to address there, Dr. Hudson? Oh, I just wanted to mention that um, although this is a partnership between Mount Pleasant Area School District and the CWCTC, uh, the program, we are only housing the program here, and it is open to students in other districts. There are also member districts of the uh, Westmoreland um, Career Technology Center. And what advantages are there to enrolling in the program? Sure. So uh, obviously, there is the, all the advantages they're talking about here at the at the local level, and really um, exploring and becoming educators, and really thinking about that in high school space, and potentially really getting on that pathway towards becoming a teacher. And then um, I represent PSEA, um, the Pennsylvania State Education Association, and part of that role is I'm the state coordinator for Educators Rising Pennsylvania. And so there are advantages too that they get to become a part of a national organization that is Educators Rising. There's a national conference. There's uh, this past summer, for example, over 2,000 high school students attended the national conference in Florida. And so they have an opportunity to begin to engage at a national level with uh, other students who are across the country. Um, we'll hold our first Educators Rising Pennsylvania State Conference this year in the spring. And they'd have an opportunity to attend that and meet other high school uh, students from all around the state, potentially also on this same journey towards becoming an educator. So there are, there are a tremendous amount of benefits in terms of collegial collegiality and meeting other uh, students that have the same passion as they do, um, learning about uh, all different sort of techniques and pedagogical best practices and being an educator um, from a whole bunch of different people to um, just getting a sense of being a part of something bigger than your, your local community, your local area, but you're, you're a part of a national movement. So there, there are a lot of really amazing advantages. Yes, definitely Can sounds I add to that? I just, um, I think this is a very beneficial program because we are facing a severe teacher shortage these days. And so it's necessary that we start to uh, capture the interest of our young high school students and um, give them some preparatory programming so that they can see if teaching is a field that they would like to get into. And to give some statistics to that, we had the lowest number of in-state instructional one certificates issued basically that we've ever seen last year. Um, we've had over the last 10 years about a 70% decline in initial certificates issued in the state. Um, so we've seen a really a dwindling number of people going in and that's caused an educator shortage. I would also add to that there's a connected real, we have a lack of diversity in the educator workforce in Pennsylvania too. Give you some statistics there, about 95% of all educators in Pennsylvania are white educators, where about 68% of our student population uh, identify as white students. So that's one of the largest discrepancies in the country. And that uh, results in things for the 2019-2020 school year. Um, we had about a little over 50% of all schools in the state of Pennsylvania employed in an entirely white educator workforce. Um, over 37% of districts and even 20 counties in the state had only all white educator workforce, which um, we've really got to reach down to a more diverse student population um, and get more diverse number of high school students exploring the space so that we can diversify and have really good representation in schools that really represents our, our population. So it, it is such uh, an important issue for really public 
public education for our students in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay. And how does an interested student enroll in this program? If it's okay with you, can I can we tackle both those together? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, we, and we're what does that application process look like? Yeah, that's really kind of thing important that um, we are housed under the umbrella of Career and Technology, um, the Career and Technology Center. So, so we have an application process, right? We serve ten school districts, um, representing about twenty-seven thousand K through twelve students. So it's a large body, and thirteen hundred students at our center. Um, however, the application process for aspiring educators is very different. Um, one, first reach out to your counselor, talk to your school counselor, talk to those um, teachers, those trusted teachers to, that, that you know and express that passion for education. Um, but if you're really serious about the um, process, uh, we certainly will welcome tours and visits to the classroom. And then the actual application is very different. The application um, isn't just sending your, your report card like everyone else does, which you do. Um, the aspiring ed program actually requires uh, two character references so our current students had to go to their counselors or teachers or people who knew them in the school to give them a reference. Um, they're, of course, entering a, uh, uh, a career path um, that, that has a, just a higher standard of, of um, professionalism. It's built into the code of, of who we are. Uh, so that was important. Also, students here had to demonstrate the academic standing, um, that they weren't just passing classes, they were excelling in classes. Because to become a certified educator, inherently, you're going to have to go through a bachelor's level program at some point. So um, all students um, held a very high academic standard and <laughs> probably most importantly, uh, attendance. Um, you know, we, we need people showing up every day and um, those were kind of the priorities. Once students met that criteria, um, they then sit for an interview. Um, I represent the CWCTC. I know Dr. Hudson from Mount Pleasant. Um, our instructor, Mr. Deal, would sit um, with all of our current students who applied and, and future students to actually um, press and interview our students as to why, why they want to make this uh, commitment. Why do they want to do this? So um, it's a little more rigorous, but I think it helps really focus those that, that um, have a passion and, and a desire to do this. Um, and uh, it, it's yielded 12 incredible pilot uh, year students that we have that I'm so proud of that uh, I'm so excited to see when I get to come visit the classroom. So um, yeah, that's that. at first steps reach out to your counselor. Let them know you're interested in this. Um, it is really open to juniors and seniors as a two-year program, so if um, a sophomore is interested in this, please make sure you, you connect with your counselor. All right, and why is the Aspiring Educators Program important to the field of education? I think speaker one, uh, you to take? You to take? Yeah, we can share this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, being being the uh, executive director at the CTC, you know, and, and talking with my superintendent colleagues, the the scare of this ever growing teacher shortage, and being able to fill positions throughout districts and and our CTC um, is becoming more difficult. Uh, a program like this, you know, adds at least some hope that we are going to start at a at a younger age, you know, uh, educating students to be in, you know, the pathway of becoming a teacher, um, you know, and becoming a career and hopefully in my world becoming a career and tech ed teacher at some point because, you know, we have openings just like the districts do and and it's scary because, you know, education is at the forefront. Um, you know, there, there are many people that talk good and there are a lot to talk bad about how education is being um, you know, delivered here in Pennsylvania, and our goal with this program is is to keep those standards high and to develop great uh, young teacher candidates that are ready to go into into college and and through the teacher prep programs to eventually graduate and come out and stay local here in Pennsylvania as as educators throughout the districts. And I'll add to that. Um, I think it's important. Um, this type of a program, um, we accept kids who think they might want to be a teacher, might want to become a teacher. But um, most often when kids enter a teacher education program, they um, already have to decide whether they want to be an elementary teacher or a career technology teacher uh, or a secondary teacher. And um, this program is built around offering lots of experiences so that they get to see all different kinds of teachers in action and they can be better informed when it's finally time for them to step into the college classroom. 
and I touched on earlier, but even at the state and national level, um, we've seen, again, we have an educator shortage across the country, and can't reiterate enough, this is the profession that creates all other professions. And as a parent, I think a lot about, too, uh, if we do not, and they, well, we've all heard the adage, right, it takes a village. And what happens when there aren't enough people in that village? And if we're not careful, we're moving that way. Pennsylvania has been a net exporter of teachers for well over 100 years to the last two years. And now we're not producing enough teachers in the state to fill the vacancies we have. Um, and that has never existed really in the history of Pennsylvania because there are so many teacher preparation programs. But that's our reality now. I'll give you another sobering statistics. For the last two years, for the first time in the history of Pennsylvania, we've issued more emergency permits for teachers, more emergency certifications than instructional one certificates. So we are having more people coming into the field not properly credentialed or certified on the emergency permits than we are with the proper certification. That's never happened in Pennsylvania's history. Um, and so why why is this important? Because this is getting our young people really thinking about entering the profession that creates all professions. There is, as a former teacher, there is nothing I love more than standing in my classroom door and saying, come on in. I don't care where you're coming from, what your address is, I'm not asking you for a credit report, right? Just come on in, I'm gonna love and teach you to the best of my ability and then I'm gonna try and do it better tomorrow. And if we don't have enough people doing that, we're, we're really uh, eroding the fabric of our society in a way. So why is this important? It is putting that foundation in place. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. And we're going to turn our attention to some of the students in the program now. All right. Hello, guys. Um, how did you first find out about the Aspiring Educators Program? Um, we had an assembly on it, and the guidance counselors went over it. All right. And what inspired you to enroll in the Aspiring Educators Program? I'm all, I've always been interested in education. I've had some life experiences that have led me into this field, but I really wanted to have the hands-on experience and to have the head start into the field. Um, the education world is very vast, and I wanted to decide what I wanted to do within that. All right, and what do you like best about the program? Um, I really like all of the different people that we get to meet since different schools are able to come into our classroom. I've made a lot of new friends, and I, I just like the fact that you get to branch out as well as learn about a possible future career. Awesome. And what are, you, what are some things that you've experienced so far? So far, we've had lessons on things such as professionalism, such as bias, such as equity versus equality, and I have learned a lot about it. I didn't used to think about how important equity is. I thought that equality and equity were the same things. I didn't realize how important professionalism was, how important interactions within the students were, within different subjects. It's just so much that you don't even think about. Um, the way that you ask a question to a student could greatly affect their day. The comments you make, the way you, pre the way you present yourself, the way you dress, the way you show up, everything matters. So that's really the biggest thing I've learned so far. And what are some experiences that you're looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to going to the different colleges and universities and to see um, the different teachers teach and like how they teach it in different ways. All right. And what would you say other students are looking forward to about enrolling in the program? I believe that other students are, I believe that if you have an interest in education that you should definitely do it because it's very hands-on, it's very interactive, it's very engaging. You have the opportunity to come in and to learn about what you want to do in education. It's not subject specific, it's more about becoming a teacher. It's not about let's do an English assignment, it's let's learn how to best present ourselves and how to best teach kids how to retain the information from the assignment. It's about treating all kids, presenting them with opportunities, giving them a chance to succeed. It's learning about the things that you didn't even think existed, really. So if you're interested in it, I think that you should definitely check it out. All right, and thank you all so much for coming in today. Thank you for coming in to talk about this wonderful program at Mount Pleasant area. If you are interested, please see a guidance counselor. It certainly sounds like a beneficial program.